Hi guys, bonjour. Now, at the time of this recording, I don't actually know what is inside of this box, but I presume it is from your cover and it's one of the official interface replacements for the HP Reverb G2. But I don't actually know, I'm not super, super certain about it. But by the way, they did also send me the silicon facial replacement for the HP Reverb G2. So go and check out the video. The link is in the description below the like button. And I will be posting another video after I've tested it out for a good you know, week or two to give you my personal thoughts as to whether you should actually get it. Okay, so without further ado, let me go and grab some tools so I can actually unbox this thing. Let's go. So VR cover who pay attention to the little details in the packaging. This is really cool, it's really what I like about these guys. And here we have the facial interface plate, which will replace the one on the G2. It feels extremely light. I must admit that it feels a little bit plasticky. I'm not sure I wouldn't bend it, but they have here the nose blocker as well so that you don't see any light coming inside of the reverb and they also have the nose thing is both plastic casing and also rubber inside here as well and then what they also have inside they have two facial interfaces which are made of PU and they smell quite nice they don't smell chemical this is what I really like and the attention to detail on the stitching is very cool, I have to admit. It feels very spongy. I'm pretty sure it's going to be quite comfortable to put on my face. So they have one large one. And then they also have one medium one, I would say. Not very thin. I would say a good medium size. Again, one side feels very nice and which feels very comfortable, very bouncy. And then all we have to do is pick up the facial interface plates and you can see on the sides here where the Velcro, where will stick on the Velcro. Then we take the facial interface cushion and then just put it like so. Very easy to put. Now it's extremely sticky though, so you just have to be a little bit patient. And then just make sure it goes on the edges here. And then on the edges here. Like so, there we go. And I bet you it's gonna feel very, very comfortable. So let's put it on just to try it out. So let's just change the facial interface by HV. This is the one here. This is the VR cover silicon facial interface. There's a link also below in the description to the video that I did of the unboxing. And I'm gonna put the initial VR cover with the PU facial interface in place. So it goes in place, no worries about that. And then let me just take off my head and stuff. And then just put it on. Now, the VR headset is not powered on, just to let you know. So I'm trying on the medium one at the moment. So it actually feels very light. It doesn't feel like it's there whatsoever. And I have to say that I don't get to see much light going up through my nose. So the light is very blocked. Uh, there's only a tiny little bit of glaring on the lenses because I'm using the VR Wave lens prescription adapters, link in the description below to those as well. We've done plenty of videos about them and you can get a 5% discount, by the way, using the promo code VR Essentials. Just want to plug that in. So, so far so good. Now let me put on the thicker ones and see the difference. Oh, wow, there's definitely a difference. I have to admit that first of all, there's less light on the actual VR Wave lens prescription adapters. So that's very good. Although before it was very, very minimal, but here there's none. Uh, and also, unless I really look down, there's not much light coming up from my nose. So that's actually pretty good. The smell is kind of PUE, I have to admit, but it will probably go away within, you know, a couple of days. So maybe just leave it out for a couple of days before you actually put it on, just in case, you never know. 
And no, it feels very comfortable. You know, it's very soft on my skin. So I really do like this. I really do like that. And guys, as I mentioned, hit the notification bell because I will upload my actual review in a couple weeks time. So you don't miss that video. Via Wave, by the way, thank you so much for sending this to us. Please hit a like just to thank them also because it's really awesome to have these kind of brands to send us these kind of accessories so I can actually provide and educate you as to whether you know you should get them and also to share with you that they actually exist. All right, guys, au revoir, à bientôt. I'll see you in the next video.